What if I told you that everything you see, hear and experience is not as real as you believe? What if your consciousness doesn't just observe the world, it actually creates it? Sounds crazy, right? But here is the mind-blowing part. Science, quantum physics and philosophy are beginning to suggest that consciousness may be the most fundamental force shaping reality. Everything you see, hear and think and feel has always been inside your mind. You have never experienced anything outside of it. You don't interact with reality directly. Instead, you interpret it through your perception. But what if perception is not just a passive window into the world? What if it is actually shaping the world itself? You have probably heard the old question, if a tree falls in a forest and no one is there to hear it, does it make a sound? But what if the real question is even weirder? Does the tree even exist in the way we think if no one observes it? That's the big mystery we are driving into today. Is reality something that exists outside of us? Or is it a creation of our own consciousness? By the end of this, your entire understanding of existence may never be the same. So let's start with a simple question. What even is consciousness? At its core, it's your awareness, your ability to think, feel and experience the world. Right now, you are aware that you are listening to this. You are aware of the sounds around you, the sensations in your body and the emotions in your mind. But here is the problem. No one can fully explain what consciousness is or where it comes from. Neuroscientists say that it arises from the brain's electrical activity. Billions of neurons firing, sending signals, creating thoughts, emotions, and self-awareness. But that explanation has a huge gap. How does a collection of neurons create something as rich and personal as the experience of being you? This question known as the hard problem of consciousness is one of the biggest mysteries in science. Friends, it is one thing to explain how the brain processes information, but why do we feel emotions? Why do colors appear the way they do? Why do we have a sense of self? No one truly knows. And if we don't understand where consciousness comes from, how can we be sure that reality exists independently of it? This is where things get really strange. Because if consciousness is such a mystery, what if it is actually the thing creating the world around us? If you think reality is solid and independent of observation, quantum mechanics has something shocking to say. The famous double slit experiment changed everything we thought we knew about reality. Scientists shot tiny particles like electrons or photons at a screen with two slits. If no one observed them, the particles behaved like waves, passing through both slits at the same time. But the moment someone observed them, they stopped acting like waves and behaved like particles, choosing one slit or the other. In other words, the simple act of observing changed how reality behaved. This is known as the observer effect and it suggests something mind-bending. Reality doesn't exist in a fixed way until consciousness interacts with it. This is not just some philosophical thought experiment. It's a real scientific result and it raises an even bigger question. If reality changes when we observe it, could it be that our entire world is shaped by our minds. Some scientists and philosophers believe that our entire experience of the universe is shaped 
by our awareness. Let's explore some theories that support this idea. Friends, you have probably heard some scientists suggest that we might be living in a simulation. If computers can create incredibly realistic virtual worlds, what's stopping an advanced intelligence or even our own consciousness from generating this one? And then there is the holographic universe theory. Some physicists believe that our 3D reality is actually a projection of information stored on a 2D surface, just like a hologram. This would mean that what we call reality is actually just encoded data, and our consciousness is the key to interpret it. Even philosophy backs this up. George Berkeley proposed that nothing exists unless it is perceived. Reality is not out there. It is created by observation. If any of these theories are true, then your consciousness is not just experiencing reality. It is actively constructing it. And if that is the case, then what happens when we take control of our own consciousness? If consciousness shapes reality, we should see this effect in our everyday lives. And we do. Two people can experience the same event and remember it completely differently. Why? Because our consciousness filters reality through our beliefs and emotions. Studies show that when people believe they are taking medicine, even if it is just a sugar pill, their bodies often respond as if they had taken real medicine. Belief alone changes biology. This is famously known as the placebo effect. Friends, ever walked into a room and felt the energy, whether it was tense or peaceful? Science shows that emotions carry measurable vibrational frequencies. Your consciousness picks up on them, shaping your reality. And then there is the law of attraction. Psychology studies show that people who visualize success perform better. Athletes, entrepreneurs, and artists use visualization techniques to shape reality before they take action. If thoughts influence outcomes, then consciousness is not just passively observing reality. It is shaping it. Let's take it a step further. If consciousness creates reality, is this world even real? Think about dreams. When you are dreaming, everything feels real until you wake up. What if this waking life is just another level of dreaming? And here is something even stranger. Your body, thoughts and beliefs change over time. But the feeling of being you, the silent observer, never changes. Could this pure awareness be the true reality? Many spiritual traditions suggest that waking up to this truth is the ultimate step in human evolution. So, what does this all mean for you? If consciousness creates reality, then your thoughts, emotions and beliefs are not just passive experiences. They are actively shaping your life. Friends, most people believe life just happens to them. But if consciousness creates reality, then you are not a spectator. You are a participant. The limitations you accept, like I will never be successful, don't just describe reality. They shape it. Changing your beliefs can change your life. So friends, here is something to try. For the next seven days, be hyper aware of your thoughts. Anytime you catch yourself thinking negatively, shift your focus. Notice how even small changes in thought patterns start shifting your reality. If reality is shaped by consciousness, then mastering your mind is the key to transforming your world. So, what will you choose to believe? Because in the end, your consciousness may be the most powerful force in the universe. Thank you for watching.